Almost everyone at this market in Lagos, Nigeria, is here to buy stockfish. A coveted source of protein, it sells for $65 per kilogram, seven times as much as other popular fish like croaker. But no one in Nigeria can actually produce this unique dried cod. The fish comes from thousands of miles away in Norway, where entire operations are dedicated to supplying the stockfish demand in Nigeria. It's 99.9% .9 for Nigeria. A full drying rack like this is worth over $500,000. But because the supply from Norway is volatile, prices fluctuate, and sellers here in Nigeria have no control over how much fish gets here. So how did stockfish first connect these two economies? And why is it so expensive? We add our stockfish. The stockfish is very important to Nigerian cuisine because of the texture and flavor it gives to the dish, especially when you want to have that local smell, local aroma to your food. This is the fishing village of Henningsvar in Lofoten, Norway. It's the ideal location for drying stockfish. Cod migrates here at the start of the winter. After it's caught, the fish is graded by size and tied to be hung on racks, heads and bodies separately. The weather here is cold, dry, and reaches minus 10 to minus 15 degrees Celsius with wind chill. It's so cold that there are no insects that could eat the fish, but not cold enough to freeze the fish. And it dries the fish so much that after a few weeks, not even birds are interested in it anymore. These racks have the capacity for as much as 4,000 metric tons of stockfish. It's a way of conservation. You know, the yield is 23%. So that means that we take out all the water. It's a way of preserving the, yeah. the proteins. Exposed in the freezing wind, it takes three months for cod to fully dry and become stockfish. Once that happens, stockfish can be stored for up to three years, making it an extremely valuable resource. This is a longer method than using salt or artificial dryers, which can dry cod in a week, but the long wait pays off. Companies like Nora's buy fresh cod for 52 kroner, a little less than $5 per kilogram from fishers. Once dried, its bulk price is around 150 kroner per kilogram. In Nigeria, it won't be sold in kilograms, but in 30 kilogram bags. This heads, uh, after two months approximately, we can take it indoor after dry it, and we uh, press it into 30 kilo duty bags and, uh, and ship in 40 feet containers, and it all goes to Nigeria, yes. Up until 60 years ago, the word stockfish meant little to nothing in Nigeria, but, after the Nigerian Civil War killed more than a million people, mostly of starvation in the late 60s, everything changed. Among the emergency supplies other countries sent to Nigeria to combat the famine, Norway sent stockfish. While Norwegians still eat it in restaurants now, almost 100% of the stockfish produced in Norway is headed to Nigeria, especially for home cooking. In 2015, Nigeria imported $8.94 million worth of stockfish from Norway. You know, this call from Norway. We don't have challenge selling stockfish when we see but then I will say as much as we bring. Nonso is a stockfish dealer. He's spent 20 years in the business going from retailing to dealing directly with imports. He sells his stockfish at the Otto White Sand Market in Lagos, Nigeria. 
selfish it comes in this first species. So there is the health aspect of it, which is into three types. There's one that comes with jaw, there's one that comes without jaw. There's also type of different hairs. So the same way it is different, same uh, the prices are different. So in that into that meat, there are other two types of the meats. There are the one without skin and the one with skin. Then aside from that one too, there is also the body, the long one. That one also is more expensive. And even in that body, there are out of four different types. The hot and humid climate makes it impossible for stockfish to be dried here. So importing it is the only option. The stockfish takes six weeks to get to Nonso from Norway. A bag of body here is above $500 and above 300000 Then the main body, the long one, is up to eight to 900000 here, which is almost close to $1,000 above. But those prices will not be the same tomorrow. Prices fluctuate depending on the season, and because it's a more convenient trade currency than Norwegian kroner, prices are set in US dollars. They depend on the naira to dollar exchange rate of the day. And even then, there are two different exchange rates, the official one set by the Central Bank of Nigeria and the black market rate. Black market rates, although unofficial, often give a better picture of the real market conditions. Most of us end up going for black market because it can be in a queue for the dollar for months. In Nigeria, these two exchange rates are very different. Which one you pick to sell your stockfish can make or break a business like Nonso's. That's a major challenge in every business in this country. The restriction and as, uh, access to gold. The difference between government rents and black market is over 100. That's a lot of money. So it makes the business difficult. And also makes it expensive for consumers. So it's a very big challenge. But for now, for what deal with this, I don't have much option. I have to continue our business. In 2021, to encourage local fish farming, the Nigerian government added stockfish to a list of over 40 items that importers have to buy with actual US dollars, not Naira, converted into the same amount. For Nonso, this made trading stockfish even more challenging. 15 years ago, a container stockfish is, could be around 7, 8 million. Uh, but today, a container of uh, stockfish would worth between seventy-five dollars to $80,000 in current black market streams, because that's about for $17 million to $15 million. Because of the challenges of assessing forests through central bank, normal rents, a lot of people have left the business. The rise in energy costs has also made the operations in Norway more expensive to run, and that also reflects on the final price at the market here. Well, the people go for with one they can afford. So now they are being a method that instead of allowing to be there to spoil, we now start slashing. So when you move around the market, we see people slashing the stuff into a smaller size that people can afford. I really can't place a time frame to how long I've been cooking stockfish. I grew up knowing stockfish. I learned to use stockfish also in cooking the local dishes, the local delicacies, especially our soup and stews. Here is our seafood okra in all its beauty. How lovely it looks. First of all, you feed with the eyes. The burst of flavors, the taste, all combining to give this wonderful aroma. Back in Norway, the Nigerian market is too important to lose. And it's, it's funny because we have 
we have been trying to sell to other countries these products also. And uh, every time we, we think we try to find, we found a new market, uh, then we find out that it was really the Nigerians living in uh, the Netherlands or England or the US. Uh, so it's always the Nigerians who, who like this.